do my presentation on uh, on kind of obscure, lesser known war. I like looking up uh, like just old wars that's happened in history that nobody really knows about, just because I find it interesting. The one I chose here is called the Winter War. Uh, the Winter War was also called the uh, Russo-Finnish War. It was an armed conflict between uh, Finland and the Soviet Union about three months after World War II broke out. Uh, Exact dates, as you can see there, November 30th, 1939, June, March 13th, 1940. Okay, just to establish a little bit of context. Uh, uh, Finland, from 1809 to 1917, was a autonomous state of Russia. I don't, I was called like the Grand Duchy of Finland back then or something like that. Um, but after the Russian Revolution, uh, they declared themselves independent and became the country of Finland. Uh, but from that point forward, they had very rocky political relations. When Joseph Stalin came into power in uh, the Soviet Union, uh, things really uh, went downhill from there. Now, Stalin, got a little map here. Uh, Stalin, seeing as World War II just broke out, he feared. Um, uh, Nazi Germany would attack uh, the Soviet Union, and he wanted more de easily defensible borders for the city of uh, Leningrad, which you can see uh, right there just to the south of Finland. And he established military bases in Estonia, Latvia, and Lithuania. He wanted to move the Soviet influence west to help defend from the Germans to the south. He went to Finland and he demanded that they give up some of their land, a portion of their land, as well as some islands in the Gulf of Finland so he could establish a submarine base. Finland, as I said before, had just recently uh, become a nation recently, as in like 20 years before that or so. But they didn't want the Soviet Union to reestablish dominance over the new nation, so they declined and the Soviet Union uh, invaded. Now, I'm not going to go over this for the interest of time, but just to uh, get an idea of those numbers there, the Soviet Union had about a million men, not all at once, they came over multiple fronts over a period of time. And then uh, 340,000 men only for Finland. So you can get an idea of just how much of an underdog story this was. Okay, so the actual war. Soviets, as you can see in this map here, uh, invaded along multiple fronts, but the primary uh, area of the invasion was down here. It was an area, uh, the, the border closest to Leningrad, uh, the Finnish capital of Helsinki is this way. And right here is the closest of uh, this area here. Um, this, I believe, was called the, the Ma uh, Mannerheim Line, which is a major uh, fighting point during the war. And uh, Sorry, I'm just trying to read my terrible writing here. And so this is where the conflict happened, mainly along the uh, Meinerheim line. Uh, most people in the world uh, would imagine that uh, Soviet Union would completely dominate Finland. But uh, this is where the underdog story really happens, in that uh, <coughs> the Finnish people and their army uh, held the line for the entire war uh, against the Soviet Union, who were a powerhouse at that time. Um, they used guerrilla tactics, they used things like speed, ambushes, and their knowledge of the terrain to hold the line. This is why it was called the Winter War, because it took place over the winter months. And uh, the Soviet Union had a lot of trouble breaking through the line because uh, the Finnish soldiers, they would use things like skis. They had soldiers with skis who would like ski across and ambush the, uh, the Soviet uh, troop columns from the tree lines and then they would ski away before they could get shot back. And it was ingenuity like that that really helped them uh, defend the line uh, really well. Uh, unfortunately, uh, over time, the Finnish defenses were worn down. Uh, and I guess every underdog story has an end, but uh, the Finnish people gained uh, lots of uh, international uh, respect on the world stage for their performance in the war. Uh, and they did pick up the moral victory, I, I, I would feel, despite the fact that they technically lost the war on paper. Uh, 
And just to conclude, there is some post-war stats just to get the idea of how well Finland actually defended that line. Uh, uh, 400,000 Soviet Union soldiers dead, only two, 70,000 Finnish soldiers. So, and yeah, that's what I have.